My name is Benjamin Kane Etheridge, and I'm here to talk about Madhouse. Madhouse is an anthology not just about an insane asylum and its patients, but about madness itself, and the root cause of all madness that people possess. Each short story explores different mental afflictions, and the challenges the afflicted go through during a day from hell at the Golden Canyon Behavioral Health Center. A massive supernatural sandstorm hits the facility shortly after a mysterious patient begins talking for the first time in 15 years. This John Doe is the harbinger of a wave of infectious madness that spreads through the facility and digs into the minds of patients and staff members alike. The conceit explored in Madhouse is that everybody harbors some sort of madness inside them. But what are the forces that truly bring it to the surface? Pains from this life? Pains from a past life? A plague cast down by an angry ancient god? And if so, what is that god's plan? What's the end game? In the main story of Madhouse, I wrote a character of a doctor who struggles with superiority complex and trust issues. When she probes into her past life, she discovers she's never made the right choices, and she really isn't that great of a person to begin with. Will this series of mistakes continue? Can she heal the wounds of her present life or her past life? and take a new course? Or will the madhouse consume her and the man she loves, more importantly? This is just one story, one note, in the discordant, chaotic symphony that is Madhouse. And I'm excited and honored to be a part of it. Madness has long been a recurring theme in horror literature, from Horace Walpole to H.P. Lovecraft to Julian Flynn. In Madhouse, Bram Stoker award-winning novelist Benjamin K. Netheridge and myself, Brad C. Hudson, wanted to explore that theme in a different way. Madhouse is a shared world anthology. Every writer who contributed a story set their story in the same mental hospital on the same night. Many even used the same characters. Our goal with this was to create a book where the reader could pick it up, flip to a story at random, and read that story as a standalone entity. This is no different from any other anthology. But what we also wanted to achieve, and I think we did, if I may be so bold, is to create a book that when read cover to cover, reads as a cohesive novel. To do that, we've enlisted some of the genre's top writers. You can read the table of contents yourself, but I think you'll be as excited with the roster as we are. Ben and I also wrote a meta plot that weaves its way through the book. I took the character of Mark, a recovering alcoholic who was madly in love with Dr. Alice Chalbert, a character who Ben wrote most of the scenes for him. Now Mark is forced by the madness that John Doe unleashes on the hospital to endure a gauntlet of physical and psychological torture that would make anyone break. Emily Dickinson once said that if she felt the top of her head was taken off, that was poetry. In Madhouse, we do not seek to take the top of your head off. Instead, we want to hollow it out and curl inside of it sing to you a glorious song until the tears come, the drool starts, and you beg for silence. Won't you invite us in? <laughs>